be worse than Sarah Lou playing with the food. We had a chat last night. Did you? I just don't seem to be able to get through to her. Martin, are you listening? Look, Gail. I think it's time for me and you to have a bit of a talk. I know what you're going to say. Oh, do you? You think I'm dealing with it all wrong, don't you? What's that? You just think I'm making matters worse. Well, I think you might be getting a few things out of proportion, yeah. yeah. Well, how do you expect me to behave when my own daughter's starving herself? Well, you're exaggerating. Anyway, it's got nothing to do with dieting anymore. It's just turning into a battle of wills. Yeah, she is digging her heels in. She just doesn't like me telling her what to do anymore. So why are you letting things get out of hand? Because it's already out of hand, Martin. I mean, she carries on like this. She's going to make herself seriously ill. Look, Gail. What? Nothing, no. No, you're right. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later. Never mind dashing off. You can come and have some breakfast first. I haven't got enough time. I'm going to be late. No, you're not. You've got plenty of time. And you're going nowhere until you've had something to eat. Well, then I'll get something to eat at break. Well, just in case it slips your mind, I'd like to see you eat something now. Oh, come on, Sarah. I'm not just sit hungry! Down for you a bit. Just about enough of this! You're going to eat something if you have to sit there all day. And we're going to do this every meal time until this nonsense stops. Right. I'm off. Yeah. Me too. Sarah? Um, yeah, I will in a minute. I thought you said you were in a hurry. Yeah, I've got some visits homework. I've left it upstairs. OK. See you later, then. See ya. You think that was wrong with me, don't you? Yes. It was a bit drastic. Yeah, well, it calls for drastic measures. Even if she hates me for it. Oh! Trapped. Bill's knee post, and I've left him on the mantelpiece. piece. You go on. I'll see you later. Didn't. Sarah, don't lie to me. Mum, I'm not lying to you. Anyway, it's your fault you made me eat when I wasn't hungry. Do you realise how dangerous this is? Do you know what you're doing to yourself? Will you stop going on well, at me? I might as well for all the good it does. Well, if you won't listen to me, maybe you'll listen to a doctor. Mum! I'm not waiting till you're four and a half stone and your hair's falling out. I mean it, Sarah. Someone's got to make you see sense. Sarah Louise Platt. Take a seat. What can I do for you? I don't know why you're looking at me. You're the one that thinks I need to see the doctor. Sarah Lou isn't eating properly, and I'm worried that it might lead to something more serious. And you don't agree with your mum? Yeah, well, I have been trying to eat less, but um, that's just because I'm getting fat. Rubbish. Yeah, but you don't know. You can see that she's not fat, Doctor. They just get it into their heads that they've got to be as thin as a rake. Yeah, well, it's better than being big and fat. You are not fat. I blame these ridiculous models. They don't know the damage they do. Yeah, but it's you that's always going on about food, not me. Am I the one who makes herself vomit? Is that what you do? No. Now, the only reason I was sick was because she forced a big bowl of cereal down my throat when I wasn't even hungry. 
Do you skip meals, though? Um, yes, yeah, sometimes. Do you eat snacks between meals? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Teenage girls are particularly conscious of their figures. It doesn't necessarily make them anorexic. So I'm worrying over nothing. Why don't you pop on those scales for me, Sarah Lou? We'll see how much you weigh. I don't think you're particularly underweight. So I'm overweight. Maybe by a pound or two. Nothing to worry about. Be poppy fat. Oh, I'm still fat. Anyway, the best way to maintain your ideal weight is a combination of a healthy, balanced diet and plenty of exercise. Not by cutting out meals. I hope you're listening to this. What's your general health like? Have you had any illnesses recently? Well, she was poorly last week. How did you feel? Uh, just didn't feel very well. I had a um, stomach ache. Any other symptoms? Uh, I don't know. Um, I felt tired and dizzy like I was going to faint. You didn't tell me this. Why don't you pop behind that screen, Sarah Lou? We'll take a look at you. Mm. What do you think the matter is? I'm going to examine her, just to be on the safe side. What is it? What's wrong with her? I'd like to wait for Sarah Louise to get dressed, before I say anything more, if that's OK. Well, why? What have you found? I really don't want to say anything more without Sarah Louise present. But there is something wrong. I can tell there is. Just hold on a second. Come and take a seat. <clears throat> Are you happy to talk with your mum present? Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? No. going on? The reason why Sarah Louise has put on some weight is because she's pregnant. No. I'm sorry, but it's very clear Sarah Louise is pregnant. I'd say as much as five months. She's 13 years old. She's never had a proper boyfriend. Tell, tell her. Tell her there's a mistake. Sarah Lou, look at me. Look at me, please. Realise what she's saying. Tell the doctor. You can't be pregnant if you've never had sex. <gasps> please. Please tell me it's not true. too late for a termination. Do you know what that means? Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you talk to us? I didn't know. How could you not know? You must have noticed your period stopped. Sarah Lou is only 30. Yes, I know that. Well, at that age, her menstrual cycle can be very erratic and can be affected by stress, by weight loss... By pregnancy. Yes. But our bodies go through many changes around the time of puberty. It would be very easy to miss the signs. Look, I want you to know I'll be here to see you through every step of the way, starting with a scan, to make sure that you and the baby are both healthy. We should get that done straight away. 
I can make you an appointment at the hospital for tomorrow, if that's OK. What about school? Yes, that's fine. In the meantime, this has obviously been a big shock <sighs> for both of you. Maybe it would be better if you took Sarah Louise home now, give you a chance to discuss it together, and then we can talk again. Is that what you want? Yeah. Come on, then. Oh, uh, Mrs Platt, would you like me to let social services know? I don't need social services. Well, you never know. They may be able to help. They have a lot of experience with teenage pregnancies. And, of course, I shall be in close contact, too. Yes, well, thank you. meeting. I know you are. That's why you're staring at me. Looking to see where my little girl went. Barely an hour ago we were a teenager. Paper round, pocket money. Now. Yeah, well, this time I'm anorexic. You've no idea what you've done, have you? Are you going to tell me? Tell you what? Who the father is. It's not a game, Sarah. I know. So? It's just this lad in my class. And does he have a name, this lad? Why, what are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to invite him round to Sunday lunch. I can think of a few things I would like to do to him. We only did it once. Once is enough! Or did you tell you couldn't get pregnant the first time? <sighs> I, can't be I can't believe we're having this conversation. It's my worst nightmare come true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Lord. I didn't mean to shout. It's just difficult. I'm not angry with you. Who knows? Nobody. Not even Candice? Oh. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> You promised me that you wouldn't tell anyone, so... What's <laughs> oh. the kids? Sarah Lou's having a bath. David's playing on his computer. Good. We can talk. Have you eaten? No. No, I'm fine. Did you go to football? No, I just had a drink on the way home. Just one? Does it make a difference? Not really. I think after I tell you what I heard today, I think you're going to want another one anyway. Why? What are you talking about? I took Sarah Lou to the doctors this afternoon. A doctor? I caught her throwing up in the bathroom. I told you I was worried about her. Well, are you going to tell me what you're talking about? She's pregnant. Now, is this some kind of joke? <laughs> I wish we could all just have a good laugh and go back to Ralph's about food and <sighs> smoking behind the bicycle shed, but it's not. The doctor examined her and did a test. She's pregnant. And you want a joke? 
I'll tell you a joke. She's five months pregnant. It's too late for an abortion. Sarah Luce. Having a baby. She's having a baby. I don't believe this. I still don't think it's registered with her. This she doesn't. I knew it was serious when the doctor asked Sarah Lou's permission to tell me. Yeah, well, that's standard procedure. If Sarah Lou doesn't want us to know, then they don't have to tell us about it. Well, I think I might have realised soon enough. Five months? I could have hit her. We've talked to her. We've explained things to her. How could she? It could happen to anyone, I suppose. Yeah, well, then why did it happen to anybody? Anybody but us whales? Why did my daughter have to be the one to get caught? What are you doing? I'm going to have that drink. Yes, yeah, she feels terrible for letting me down, mate. Why is she not going to school? Going to the hospital. Yeah, okay. uh, What's she going to the hospital for? Yeah, She's going for a checkup. Right. Shame, I was hoping that was not serious. David. Uh, you all live here, mate. Don't forget your lunchbox. Yeah, sister. Yeah, it's Martin Clyde. Now, uh, listen, uh, uh, If you die, I'm having your room. Go on, you'll be late. I don't think I'll be able to make it today. Why did I tell him? Because until we all decide what we're going to do, we're not telling anyone, OK? Right. Right, that's it. I've got a day off from the hospital. Your appointment at the maternity clinic's half eleven. Roy reckons you've got that nasty flu bug that's going about. Now, is that it? Cos I'm getting a sore ear. It's not a time for joking, Martin. Yeah, and we can't carry on like it's the end of the world, either. Well, it's the end of Sarah Lou's world. Excuse me, can we please stop talking about me like I'm not here? Look, I'm sorry. It's just a... It's been a shock, that's for sure. Well, I've not seen him for ages. What? I've not seen a smile. Me? Hey. Give us a smile. You do better than that, can't you? That's it. I missed that. Look, knock. There's nothing we can do about what's already happened, okay? That's done. But we can't help you from now on. But you've really got to let us, you know? Yeah. Now, there's lots of things going to be happening, starting today with this scan. There's going to be loads of people telling you how to do this and how to do that. Uh, just don't be frightened, OK? Because we're going to look after you, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're, just, we're going to make sure that everything's OK for you. Is that OK? OK. All right. Go and get dressed. And make sure you drink loads of water, because it helps you with the ultrasound scan. Might as well get a good look at our first grandchild. Do you want something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. Mum, I can't help it if I'm not hungry. I didn't say anything. I'm too tired to say anything. You can do what you like. Can I go out? OK, I'll go upstairs. very quiet since she came back from the hospital. Yeah, well, it's still sinking in. All the repercussions. What do you want to see? No, oh, thanks. I saw her on the monitor. <laughs> oh, come on, 
Gail, hey. Sarah Lou wouldn't even look at it. She just isn't taking this in. She will do. She'll get used to it. I don't want anyone knowing about this, Martin. We've just got to keep her in and stick together. I know what people will think. I know how they'll look oh, at us. Gail. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight now, are you? Do you blame me? It's my child. <laughs> it's my child. Gail, Gail, Gail. Just look at me. Look at me. Look, Sarah Louise is lucky. She's lucky to have you for a mother. There's many out there that would throw her out without a second thought. Martin. I know things haven't been very good between us. But we will come together on this. Yeah, we will. I'm relying on you. I know you are. <laughs> Tell me it's going to be all right. Tell me we'll get through it. <laughs> Well, maybe you're growing out of it. You're gonna have to do a lot of growing up very quickly now, aren't you? Um. All right. I'm not gonna go and have a go at you. Just need to talk to you, woman to woman. It's gonna hurt, isn't it? I mean, having a baby, it's gonna hurt me a lot. <sighs> more than you can imagine, love. In more ways than you can think of. I've seen things on the telly. I mean, we've done things like that in school, but it looks awful. But it's wonderful as well. And when the time comes, we'll be there with you. I'm not slacking you know. up. Oh, I know you're not, love. It just happened. I mean, one minute we were just messing around, having a laugh, and... One thing led to another? Yeah. Did he ask you? Did you want to have sex with him? I wanted to know what it'd feel like. I mean, neither of us really had any idea of what we were supposed to be doing. It was just a load of fiddling and fumbling. It didn't feel special, and I certainly didn't feel special. I didn't even think he'd done it right. But he must have, mustn't he, Mum? Oh, Sarah Lou. Didn't you realise you had your whole life ahead of you to find out what having sex with a boy felt like? I still have got the rest of my life. <sighs> but with a baby, Sarah Lou, with a baby, it changes everything. <sighs> You'll have to think of your baby first, whatever you do. You'll have to put your baby first. <sighs> you will be there, won't you, Mum? Yes, I will. Another life depends on you now, Sarah Lou. It's a big responsibility for anybody. Let alone a girl of 30. Um, Miss, Miss Gregory's given me these to give to Sarah Louise. They're just some English books. Right, so. thanks. I'll see if she gets them. So where is she? She got the photos from that. Yeah, she's in bed. Hi there. You don't look very sick to me. Well, she is, so thanks for the books, but I think it'd be best if you went now. I just wanted to stay for a quick chat. I, w I won't stay longer, so I... No, I don't want to talk. <laughs> you what? That's a new one. I said I don't want to talk to you, OK? Come on, what's up? I said I don't want to see you. Fine, you can suit yourself. You were all for seeing your mates this morning. What's the fuck? Mum, everyone's gonna know, aren't they? <laughs> everyone's gonna be looking at me and talking about me. I can't face it. I just, I wish I was dead. 
<laughs> I'm just worried, that's all. You know, one minute we're gonna face it, the next we're pretending nothing's happened. Oh, you're up. I heard you talking about me. Are you surprised? Are you ashamed of me? No. I'm not exactly proud of what you've done either. You think I'm a slight, don't you? I don't think anything of the sort. No, no. What were we doing? We were just talking things over, see what we can do for the best. Behind my back? No. I'm going out. Where to? I don't know, Candices. I would rather you didn't. Why? Well, we just would. Oh, Sarah! I don't want you telling me what to do all the time. Well, it's a bit late in the day for that, don't you I'll think? Get it. Just keep it down, will you? And I did tell you what to do. I didn't expect you to put it into practice at 13 years of age. It's not my fault, is it? Um. We've got a visitor. Social services. Oh. Well, uh, come on in. Mrs. Platt, I'm Lydia Summers. We had a referral from a GP, Dr. Wilson. She'll have told you she'll be getting in contact with us. Well, she mentioned something. I didn't think you'd be turning up on the doorstep. Perhaps you've not received the letter. We have written to let you know. It's about your daughter, Sarah Louise. Is this her? Hello there. Well, uh, I don't wish to be rude, but, um, just what is it you want? Whenever we're notified of an underage pregnancy, we always visit the family at least once. Do you now? You mean you've come to check up on us? No, but there is a childcare issue here. Yeah, and we're dealing with it as a family. I just need to establish a few facts about the family setup and to offer our support as much as anything else. And if we don't need your support? I can understand you might feel this an intrusion, but there's really nothing to worry about. Well, do you want to see all of us or just me and Martin? Um, if I could talk to the whole family first and then perhaps I could have a little chat with Sarah Louise on her own. It's just the three of you living here, is it? Oh, with a son, David. How old is he? He's nine. Where is he now? He's out with his mates. But uh, he doesn't know anything about Sarah Lou. He doesn't? No. It's nothing we've been trying to keep from him. It's just that we haven't found the right moment, have we? We haven't had a chance to get used to it ourselves yet. No, so if he comes in, which he might do any minute, if you just don't mind keeping it done. Of course. Have you always lived here? Um, yeah. Um, since we got married. When was that? 1991. Eight years. And you were living together before then? You're Sarah Lou's natural father? No, no, I'm a stepdad. I see. Her father died in 89. When you were tiny. I'm sorry. That must have been awful for you. Well, both of you. Well, you get on with life, don't you? Do either of you work? We both do. Yeah, I'm a nurse at Weatherfield General. Right. And I work in a cafe just round the corner. I take it you work shifts. And what's the big deal about that? Well, I know myself how hard it is to run a home when both parents are working. Yeah, I'll tell you what else is hard. Trying to bring up two kids on a nurse's wage. I have every sympathy, Mr Platt. <laughs> Obviously, you don't get to spend as much time at home as a family as you might wish. Well, does anybody? I don't want to intrude. I just thought it'd be good to have a chat on our own. You're not going to take me into care or anything, are you? Oh, of course not. The last thing we want is to take you away from your family. Girl in our year got put in care. Well, there must have been a very good reason for that. Maybe her parents couldn't look after her, or perhaps they were harming her in some way. You get on well with your parents, do you? Yeah. Only you looked a bit upset when I first got here. Um, my mum's not very happy about what's happened. And how do you feel about it? I'm scared. Can I ask you about the father? I oh, was just a boy at school. In the same year as you? Yeah. Do you want to tell me his name? No. Is he a steady boyfriend? I don't want to talk about him. I know you must be feeling strange at the moment, but you're not the first girl that this has happened to. I know that. There are lots of people there to help you in lots of ways. Even if all you want is someone to talk to other than your mum or your stepdad, the important thing is, you mustn't feel that you're on your own. Are you watching the time? To be at the clinic at 10.30. Oh, yeah, we don't want to be late. We don't want social services coming round again, seeing if they can be of assistance. Well, that's what'll happen, Gail. You know, why didn't they just say we think you're lousy parents? And that's for you, Mr Platt. W will you stop going on about it? Yeah, I'll 
people around here won't pussyfoot around when news gets out. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Mm -hmm. If we come to it. Are you ready? What? Oh, uh, we've got a clinic appointment this morning, 10.30, remember? Oh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> well, it's not a matter of what you feel like. Yeah, well, I'll go next week. You can't do that with appointments, Sarah. There's loads of time. Sarah, you are coming to this clinic. I am seeing Candice. You've got all half term to see Candice. This is more important. Why? Uh, I think you know why. So make me. I beg Sarah! your pardon. Oh. The wanderer returns. You had your tea? Yeah, um, I had it at Candice's. I'll go to bed, I think. Are you still friends, then? Well, I wouldn't have been there all day, would I? Did she ask why you were in a funny mood last Friday? No, what you mean is, have I told her? No. No, I mean... That is all you care about, who knows? You don't even care about me. Yes, we do. Yeah, if you cared more about me, this would never have happened. Sarah. Sarah! Listen, she didn't mean that. Oh, well, we've got nothing to worry about then, have we? What time's your interview? Half eleven, I think. Well, I hope you sound a bit more positive when you're there. Well, I've not had any time to plan for it, have I? I just have to wing it. I suppose that's my fault. No, it's not. Well, that reminds me. I've rearranged your appointment for the maternity clinic for Friday. What, this coming Friday? Yes. And there's no need to consult your diary, cos this time you go in. I never said I wasn't. No. But just remember, we're doing this for you, OK? We're on your side. There's no need to make us jump through hoops every time we try and get you to do something. Do you want toast? No, thanks. I'll serve you. Yeah? You could have got a dress, mate. Why? <laughs> so how are you planning on productively using your half-term, then? Going to chase a few aliens, lay waste to civilization as we know it. Might, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Juice? Yeah. Please. Good me. The door was open. Hey! Ma'am, just stay where you are. Why? Flu. We're contagious. You've had flu the whole week. No, you look fine to me. I'll risk it. I feel we said I had the constitution of an ox. No, ma'am, really, I don't want you to risk getting this. It's awful. You'll be laid up for days. What flu bug? Eat your cereals. Well, look, I just wanted a quick word, if you'd got a minute. Well, is it important or is it gossip? No, I don't know. Look, it won't take long. Look, ma'am, this is just not a good time. Just give us a couple of days to get over it and I'll come around to the salon. I mean... We don't want you to risk your health. Yeah, all right then. Well, the uh, lovely seeing you, even from a distance. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Bye sweetheart. Bye, bye. What's going on? Who's got the flu? No one's got flu. Do you ever think I go on at you, asking you to make your bed, clean your room, pick up clothes from off the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel right now. So. I've just told a little white lie to stop my mum going on at me. This house is going mad. I'm going to play on the computer. He said it. Oh, I'm so bored. Well, you could help. Lunch is nearly ready. Ooh, that's really exciting. Well, you think yourself lucky. I could do with a little less excitement in my life. Mum, why didn't you tell Grandma when she came round earlier? Because we're not ready to tell anyone yet. Including David, so don't go teasing him. Yeah, but you won't be able to keep it secret for much longer. <sighs> I know. We just need time to think about it before we go shouting it from the rooftops. I'll get it. What do you want? Sarah Lewin? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Okay. Hi, Candice. Just about to have dinner. Do you want to stay? Um, I don't know. What are you having? Mum, <laughs> shepherd's pie. Yeah, go on then. Is that all right? Well, it doesn't look like I've got much choice, does it? All right, well, no. Shall I tell you what? You're getting really boring, you. Sorry, go if you're bored. I didn't say I was bored. I said you were boring. You never want to go out. So, there's nowhere to go anyway. Oh, yeah, so I guess we'll just stay in here and twiddle our thumbs. It's better than going out. What? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, of course I can, but what kind of secret? A big secret. Go on, tell me. Right, if I tell you, you've got to promise me you will never, ever tell anyone else. OK. I'm being serious. Yeah, if OK, what out, is it? I would die. I promise, I promise, just what is it? Oh, I, I don't 
don't know, maybe you shouldn't. No way, you can't do that to me. Tell me that and then not tell me. I can keep a secret, everyone knows I don't grass. Do you remember that time that me and it was Lorraine Harris, we went and stole them hair slides, yeah? And I got caught and she didn't, I never grassed on her. Yeah, okay, just keep your voice down. Right. Go on then. Tell me, you can trust me. Okay, um, I'm pregnant. No way! Shut up, Maria! <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. You that shut you up. <laughs> I can't believe you. You're having me on. I'm not. I've been to the doctors. She said I'm pregnant. She should know. Does your mum and dad know? No. I'd be dead if my mum and dad knew something like that about me. But what did they say? Not a lot. Well, um, they said a lot actually, but um, they've not had a huge go at me but no one's allowed to know, not even David knows. Are you sure you're not having me on? I've been to the hospital, I've had a scan, I've seen it. You pregnant? Hang on a minute, how come you didn't tell me that you did it? So, I don't have to tell you everything. So you actually did it? Yeah. You? Yes! So who was it? Oh, come on, you've got to tell me, was it someone from our school? It won't have been anyone from our year. What about year 10, was it someone from year 10? Oh, come on, you've got to tell me. Actually, hang on a minute, I think I know. No, you don't. Neil Ferns. It was Neil Ferns, innit? Oh my god, that is like so disgusting. Right, just leave it. Neil Ferns! No wonder you didn't want to tell anybody. Just leave it. No, actually, but what are you going to do? How do you mean? Well, you're not going to have it, are you? I've got no choice. Of course you've got a choice, there's always abortion. I mean, Sarah Jones, she's in the year above us. She had an abortion last summer. She said that she didn't, but everyone knows she did. I can't, they say it's too late. What do you mean, too late? I'm five months pregnant, it's not allowed. I've got half the baby. Morning, love. What do you want for your breakfast? Um, toast, please. Ooh, how about some porridge, eh? That's set you up. Mm, why, what, we turned into three bears and all? Mm. Listen, love, we need to talk. This lad, you're going to have to give us his name. Why? Because we need to know. What, so you could go around and knock him out? Oh, of course not. You don't need to protect him, you know. I'm not protecting him! God, I never even want to see him again. Look, I know what you've told your mother, but now I need to ask. Did he... No, he didn't force me. Will everyone stop asking me that? It just happened. Look, next week, when half-term's over, you're going to have to go back to school and you're going to have to face him. So wouldn't it be no. better if... No. Mum, he doesn't know how. I don't want him to. Look, I don't care about him. He's, he's no one special. I just... Please, I don't want you asking me questions. Well, the thing is, because you are only 13, there's going to be an awful lot of these questions. I mean, the school are going to have to know, for starters. Why? I just want things to go back to normal. Because you can't just go yeah, around. All right. That's enough for now, eh? You go get ready for hospital. Oh. Hi, Charlie, all right? Martin? We might have to wait ages. There's no point in us all hanging around. We'll see you at home later. Hang on. I thought the idea was we were going together. That's why I've taken the morning off. Yeah, but I mean, if anybody else recognises you. So? Sitting with your daughter in antenatal clinic. Yeah, and my wife. They might get the wrong idea. Don't you mean the right idea? Look, anywhere you work, gossip spreads like wildfire. Gail, do you not think you're getting a bit paranoid? There's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. I'm not ashamed. I just want to keep things as quiet as possible until we get a few things sorted out. Oh, Martin, I know it must be a drag for you too. No, it's not! Please, let me do things my way. Oh, OK. Not like I've got much choice, does it? Right. See ya. You're right, love. Was there anything the midwife said that you didn't understand? 
by me. That's mainly what I don't understand. Well, we could all torture ourselves with that one. Still wouldn't have an answer. I didn't mean to. We only did it the once. Donna Shaw's been with half the lads in class and she's never got pregnant. No, it's not fair. But then life's not fair, is it? So we've just got to say to ourselves it, it happened. And get on with it. I don't want to go with it. I just want I just want oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just want things to go back to how they were. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. I promise. So you're coming back to school next week? Yeah, of course I am. Still can't get me head around it. Neil Ferns, I can't believe you did it with him. I didn't mean to. How do you mean you didn't mean to? Anyhow, I thought it was Darren Michaels you fancied. It is. Fat chance now though, eh? Is your mum still giving you a hard time about it? What do you think? Every time I go downstairs, they look at me like I've turned into some sort of flesh-eating zombie. So how do you reckon it happened? <sighs> I don't know. Well, did you not ask him to use some of I didn't know we were going to do it. So why did you? We were just going with each other in that for ages. Next thing I know, he gets really keen, starts telling me how much he likes me. Next thing I know, he's like, there. I suppose I was just curious. Was it how you expected? Not really. It was over ever so quick. But you did like it. It's all right, I suppose. So does anyone else know? Nope, my mum won't even tell me gran. Well, she has got a gob on your gran, hasn't she? No, I mean, like, does anyone else at school know? Nope. Not even the gorgeous Neil? No, and I don't want him to either. I only told you because you're my best friend, so remember what you promised, because you've got a gob on you and all. I remember. I'm glad you told me, though. I mean, I'd have told you. So what does it feel like to be pregnant? I don't feel like how. Well, aren't you supposed to puke up all the time? I mean, like, that's what my auntie did. Well, I did for a bit, but you get used to it. So what are you going to call it? I don't know. If I had to buy, I'd call it Leo. <laughs> you know, after, like, Leonardo DiCaprio. But you could always call it Neil after his dad. Oh, shut up. <laughs> No, I'm only trying to be helpful. Anyway, so what do you reckon about Westlife? Do you reckon they're going to split up? I don't know, I hope not. I mean, Gail, you know me. I don't say things that aren't true, do I? No. I mean, Alma just doesn't want to hear it, so someone's got to put her right. Yeah. Oh, let this be a lesson to you, Sarah Lou, my love. Men, they can't be trusted. They're only out for what they can get. Ma'am! What? Ah, at last. Right, well, we're off then. So, uh, see you later, Audrey. David, aren't you going to give your gran a kiss before you go? Don't like kissing. Oh, <laughs> well, you won't be very popular when you get older then. Every girl likes a kiss now and again. I won't kiss her. Oh, they all say that. It's a good job we don't take any notice of them, isn't it, Sarah Lou, darling? <laughs> now what? Right, so we'll be about an hour or so, OK? Yeah, be as long as you like. Oh. David needs the fresh air. Yeah, so do I. Go Bye. On. Bye. Isn't it lovely the way they're growing up? I mean, do you remember a time when all he'd talk about was Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, and you are so lovely, eh? Won't be long before all the boys are running after you. <laughs> Ma'am, just pack it in, will you? Well, now what have I said? <sighs> right, I'll give us on with this. Nana was here for ages. Was she? Well, you could have told her about me, so why didn't you? Oh. It wasn't the right time. What, and you're just going to wait until she finds out? No. Well, she's going to see it in the pram soon. There are things we need to talk about before that. Yeah, so, anyway. Let's have our dinner. Go and get David. Sarah Lou, we've made a decision. What decision? Oh, you were right. I think we should tell people. Your Nana or Audrey, for one. Oh, no, please don't tell her. I don't want her to know. She has to. So do other people. I don't want to tell anyone. Well, you've got to. Well, we've got to, haven't we? No, Dr Wilson told me that I don't have to say anything to anyone. She says that you can't force me into anything. 
She also said you're going to give birth. And in a few months' time, that baby's going to be born, no matter what any of us want. I don't care! So, people have to know, haven't they? Who? Well, you're due in school first thing tomorrow morning. So, um, I think maybe we should ring the head first thing and make an appointment. You gotta tell the school? Well, I think they need to know what the situation is. No, they don't! Mum! Of course they do, Sarah. <laughs> I mean, you could take ill. You could have an accident in the gym or trip up on the way to a class. Anything could happen and they need to know how to deal with you. No, they don't. I can do my lessons here. I'll stay at home. You can't, love. Look, you know you can't. I can! Look, we're going to take you to the school tomorrow. There's no need to tell your friends, but well, I think the teachers need to know. <laughs> Look, your mother and I have made up our minds. It's for the best, Sarah. <laughs> Plenty of cheap flights to Canada before Easter. Oh, yeah. Like what? Children with babies go half price. I don't think it's a money issue, do you? Well, it is if I don't know what I'm going to be doing for an income this time next month. Yeah. I wonder if she realises her entire family life's going down the pan. All for the sake of one pathetic little fumble. Regardless of that, this business is going to take every last penny we've got. So we better start making some proper plans. Got to start looking forward now, Martin, not back. Yeah. Right over the edge of a big cliff. Losing your temper's not gonna do any good. Well, the old thing's just knocking me sick, it is. Martin. Mum, I don't feel very well. Oh, what's up with you now? Pack it in, will you? Do you talk to people like that at work? I've been sick. Uh, well, you better stop at home then, hadn't you? No, I'll be alright in a minute. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sarah Lou, I spoke to Rita about you packing in your paper round. You didn't tell her, did you? I said you needed more time for your schoolwork. She was fine about it. Yeah. Someone else we've got to lie to on your behalf. <sighs> if you're feeling better later on, we'll go into town and do a bit of shopping. You've done... Well, she's going to be needing some more clothes. Go back to bed for an hour, love. So what's going on? The lots are nervous. Your mother's come up with a plan. Designed to give you your life back. Not just me. Martin's in favour too. Yes, yeah, so what is it? And what do you mean giving me my life back? When a girl your age has a baby, her teenage years go out the window. She's tied to a house with a baby who needs changing and feeding and looking after. 24 hours a day. I know all that, but it's too late now, isn't it, really? Um, gotta have it. Not if I have it for you. The idea is that before anybody else round here finds out you're pregnant, we go to Canada. Except me. I stay over here and earn a living. You, me and David, we go to Canada. And you have the baby. And then we come back. It's mine. I'm the one who's given birth. We bring it up here. There's mine and Martin's. And you, you can get on with your life like it was before. So what do you think? Uh, that's David. Don't say anything. Hi, soldier. What's happened to you? You had a fight with Craig Smith. David! Not just him, those Macker and Liam Collins were saying things about Sarah Lou. About me? They were saying that you was having a baby. It was climbing your slab, they was all saying it. Bird. I told you, he said that Sarah Lou was having a baby. Is she really having a baby? Look, who's this Craig Smith? Oh, Martin, does Is it matter? he in your class? He's Macker's cousin, he goes to Weatherfield Camp. Is she having a baby? Oh, come on, let's sit down, sonny. Is she? David. He was calling her names, that's why I punched him. Yeah, you did right, son. Martin! Then the others started, they were shouting things. And where was this? In the park? Yeah. Oh. You know this is all we need. It doesn't matter, love. They're only children. Craig Smith's 14. Is she really having a baby? Everybody knows. We can't keep lying to him, Gail. <laughs> all right, just say what you like. <laughs> Listen, son. 
Those lads shouldn't have opened the big mouths. They had no business saying anything. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. We weren't going to tell you just yet, but, uh... Yeah, Sarah's pregnant. Now, you know what that means, don't you? Yeah, so before long, in about three months, she's going to have a baby. A baby of her own. I didn't tell anybody, and Martin didn't. So, how come everybody knows? I don't know. Tell any of your friends you might be pregnant. No, I didn't tell my friends. I only told Candice. Candice! She wouldn't say anything. Martin, she told Candice! You promised you wouldn't say anything. She promised me she wouldn't tell anyone. Oh, Candice promised, did she? Well, I think she broke that promise, don't you? There were only the three of us knew. We were going to keep it quiet. I'll kill that Candice. Well, Dr. Wilson knew and that... That was social work and you. You weren't going to keep it secret forever. We trusted you. It was my secret, not yours. Will you do anything right? Oh, Gail. The only reason you bothered is now you can't shove me off to Canada. You saw Lugo in Canada? Yeah. You want to put me where no one can see me? Who's going with her? Am I? No, sunshine. Oh, tell him the truth! Yeah, they were sending you there and all. Well, I've done it. No one's to... going to Canada, OK? Oh, no, you're not going to Canada because you're staying here. Dad? No one is going to Canada, OK? All right, we thought about it. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but we might as well forget it now, haven't we? No. What do you mean, no? Oh, come on, Gail, this changes everything. Yes, it does. We all go. You as well. Oh. So you think we're going to be able to emigrate by nine o'clock in the morning, dear? Nine o'clock? Why? Well, because by then I think everyone will know about it. How? Well, you heard David. This Craig Smith goes to Weatherfield Comp. He's not even in year eight, he's in year nine. So the whole school knows about it. It's one school. No, it's not. Let's say he's told his cousin in the juniors. That means Rosie and Sophie know about it. He shouted it across the red wreck. Half the kids in the district go there. They're only children. Yeah, but they'll go home and tell the mums and dads. I don't know what you're getting at. Of course you know what I'm getting at, Gail. The word's out. Rosie and Sophie are gonna tell Sally. The paper boys will tell Rita. Ken Barlow's only gonna bump into an ex-colleague of his. We might as well have a notice put on the door. Thirteen-year-old pregnant girl, inquire within. So we face it. Well, what choice have we got? Feeling better now? No, not really. Oh. Come on then. Tell us about it. I just don't want my friends talking about me behind my back. Well, I'm afraid they're gonna do. For the time being, anyway. And then they'll move on to another subject. It's that... the way of the world. Martin, I only did it the once. No. You were unlucky. She was naive. The fact is, Gail, she was both. Yeah. So why were you going to send me to Canada? Well, we thought it was for the best. You know, we were just trying to think of the easiest thing for you. You liked it in Canada. You said you wanted to stay when you were there before. But you were going to pretend that my baby was yours. Well, it was something we could do that didn't involve the school or social workers. We thought of one thing and then we thought of another. And... Look, the last thing we wanted to happen was this. Kids shouting out in the playground. Hurting you more. Upsetting you more. <sighs> I'm sorry. We're all sorry. It's happened. We'll get over it. I tell you one person that doesn't know about it. Who? Audrey. <sighs> I'll ring her, tell her to come round. Oh, no. I've not been through enough for one night. I'll ring her tomorrow morning.
before she goes to work. Yeah. Oh. Before and after the street tells her about it. But honestly, we've been rushed off our feet at the salon, you know. I've not been this busy since Christmas. Yeah, well, you're here now. Actually, I have to say, I think someone's already let the cat out the back. What? Hi, darling. Well, Roy Cropper in the corner shop just now. And, you know, normally I can't understand a word that man says, but <laughs> between us, I mean, Gwen and me, we worked it out. Ma'am. So, um, well, I think I know all right. No, ma'am, I don't think you do. Where's David? Uh, we sent him out with his pals. We just didn't want him around for... Hey, come on, he knows about the birds and the bees, doesn't he, eh? So, are you thrilled, sweetheart? No. Oh, why not? Well, I'm right, aren't I? I've guessed it. There's going to be a new baby in the house. Yes. Oh, come on, you should be delighted, darling. I mean, your mum's not as old as she thinks she is. And, I mean, Martin's no age at all. Audrey, Gail's not having a baby. I wasn't sure. No. Oh. Well, what were Roy Cropper on about, then, your present family circumstances? He must have meant Nick. Oh. I uh, told him that to keep him quiet. Why? There's nothing wrong with Nick, no, is no, there? No, no, Nick's fine. Well, well, why are you all looking so miserable? Ma'am, it's hard to tell you this. What? It's not me that's having a baby. It's Sarah Lou. No, it's, it's a mistake, Charlotte. Uh, but look, if, if she was pregnant, no one would let her have it. It's too late to do anything about it. Oh, Sarah, please, Gran. Oh. Well, didn't you notice? I took her to the doctors. Gail, you're her mother. Didn't you know what you were doing? We knew nothing till it was too don't, late. Shut up, will you? I don't want to talk to you. Look, we want what's best for Sarah Lou. This is the situation we find ourselves in. We have to deal with it. Deal with it? You have ruined your life. How could you do it? Don't turn on the girl now, Audrey. Oh, well, what have you done, eh? Flung your arms around her, told her she's wonderful. Look, she's upset enough without you screaming at her. We don't want to make a bad situation worse. Oh, how could it be any worse, you silly girl? Oh, Audrey, girl, please! please don't oh. leave her alone! I could slap her. Nobody slaps my children. Well, maybe you should have done. Just like my father belted the hell out of me. You've been in this plight yourself. If anybody should understand, it's you. Well, at least I was 16 when I had Stephen. I mean, Lord knows I suffered enough for that. I wasn't sleeping around the age she is. I haven't been sleeping around. You don't get that way by holding hands, Sarah Louise. It's not like catching a cold. Oh, leave her alone, Audrey. What's done's done, oh, OK? Listen to you, right? What a wonderful father figure you've been, eh? I mean, you're as bad as each other. Have some sympathy for the girl. It is not sympathy she needs. Oh, I mean, who knows about all this? Oh. The whole world, I suppose. Uh -huh. It's the council you're worried about. Well, yes, it is, actually. Because I have dragged myself up to be on that council, and now she is dragging me back down again. Your father should have belted you harder than he did. Oh, should he really? Yes. So what about the father of this child, then? I mean, what's he going to do? Who is he, anyway? It doesn't matter who he is. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? We're not interested, OK? Oh, I see. You don't know, is that it? So she's been sleeping with all sorts. Then... Oh, at least I knew who Stephen's father was and yours. Well, you never saw fit to tell me. Oh, Gail, that was years ago. We're talking about now. We're talking about Sarah Louise. What is she, the town tart? Oh, ma'am, just get out, will you? Sent him to the Red Wreck. I can't think of anywhere else. I wonder what he's making of all this. God knows. My gran hates me. No, she doesn't. <sighs> I've never heard a tall like that before. She didn't know what she was saying. Oh, she did. No, she didn't. I said a lot of things I didn't mean. No, not like her, you didn't. Mind you, I could have said a lot more. You see, you lose your temper. You've no idea where it'll end. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We know you are. 
Never mind. We'll get through, won't we? We're a family. We're strong. Yeah. So no matter what happens, we'll stick together. No matter what. That's what families are for. Yeah. Sarah Lou. Wake up. <laughs> I'm not asleep. You all right? No, not really. Here, sip this. What do you reckon they're gonna say? I don't know. But whatever they say won't change anything, will it? So, mm. nothing to worry about. I really don't want to go. No, I know you don't. We'll, uh, we'll go see Mrs. Peyton and then we'll come back. We want to have the headmistress on our side, don't we? Don't think she'll make me dub, do you? Make you what? Dob, you know, um, tell you who the father is. I don't know. I don't think so. <sighs> you will be there, won't you? I'll be there. You all right, then? No, not really. She's worried about what people will say. Uh. I've said it's only words. Words can't hurt, can they? Okay. Well, you're not the first young woman to sit there and tell me she's pregnant, and I don't suppose you'll be the last. The school will support whatever position you decide to take. So have you talked it over? Yeah, until the cows come on. And have you decided what you're going to do? Sarah Lou will be having the baby. And the father? Well, that's not an issue because, um... Well, we don't want him involved. I see. Can I ask, is this a decision you've reached by yourselves, or have you been involved with any other agency? Well, a social worker's been round, and we're in uh, close contact with our doctor. What about you, Sarah Lou? Do you think you'd like to talk to someone? There's an excellent young women's project I could refer you to. Um, well, if we could just keep it to ourselves. All right. If you change your mind, I'll be happy to set it up for you. Right. The practicalities. The first thing is to notify the rest of the staff. Um, is that necessary? Oh, yes. I'd better make you aware of our position, Mr. Platt. We will support Sarah Louise, but we don't condone what's happened. No, no, of course not. Therefore, we'll set out a discreet programme for her benefit. We're not sending out a message that encourages others to follow Sarah Lou's example. And they will treat the matter with complete confidentiality. Then they can deal with any issues that may arise without calling undue attention to them. I'll also appoint a named woman member of staff will be Sarah Lou's first point of contact. She'll meet you each week and you can discuss any problems with her, all right? What about your form tutor, Mrs. Bonnich? Good. I'll see her later. So, you seem to be saying that uh, Sarah can stay at school? Oh, yes, if that's what she wants, for the time being, anyway. Time being? Well, the later stages will be more problematic. We're not equipped to deal with childbirth here. We're a school, not a maternity unit, and that's how I'm going to keep it. So, um, well, what about later? Work for her, and she could be tutored at home. Mm. And when it's all over? She can come back. Now, can I ask if any other children here are aware of the situation? Sarah Lou's friend, Candy Stowe. I see. You realise that there'll be a lot of gossip, don't you? It'll die down eventually, but you'll need to be ready for it. Are you? Yeah. Good. Well, that's stage one over. Wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> I think you should return to school as soon as possible, Sarah Louise. There's no point in putting it off. What do you say? Goodness, that's over. 
Mrs. Bonnet, she's very nice. Mm. Good idea, that, don't you think? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. All right. Come on. Off we go, then. Please, I've been trying to get you all morning. You've not been in. Oh, don't worry, Audrey. We've not been sully in the name of Councillor Audrey Roberts. Would you just stop it, please? I am so sorry, sweetheart. No, I didn't mean any of those things I said. You know that, don't you? Well, you seem fairly sure of them the other night. Yes, well, I was shocked, OK. Can we make up properly, please? Can I come in? Come on, Mum. They're only words, they don't mean anything, remember? Okay. I'll just go and sort out Mrs Woodruff from under the dryer. For two minutes, all right? Well then, Sarah. That was really nice. Talk about how the man's are children, eh? No, well, it sounds like they wanted to be helpful. Within reason. How do you mean? Well, they made it clear they didn't condone the circumstances. No, well, I don't suppose they do, but, uh, well, these things happen, you just have to get on with life. Oh, you've changed your tune. Yes, I'm well aware of that, Martin. <sighs> Look, I know I said some terrible things. <sighs> well, it's probably my age. My brain doesn't seem to take in things like it used to, but... I was wrong, OK? I was very, very wrong, and I'm sorry. Please, I just want you to know that I will always be there for you all. Especially you, my darling. Sarah? Oh, lovely, what's up? Remains. What do you mean? They blank me. No one's ever going to talk to me again. What did I say? Nothing. Well, the teachers were OK with her this morning. But the kids were a bit funny. Not nice funny. Sniggering behind her back. Oh, no. Oh, poor little thing. Come on, Sarah Lou, you're going to be late. You know, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe she's not ready to go back to school yet. Gail, this is exactly what she needs. A bit of routine again. Some normality. Mum, it's really tight and fat. <laughs> you don't look fat. as your baby growing. Yeah, it's a good sign. Means it's healthy. Oh, come on, you look fine. I feel sick. Yeah, well, it's just nerves. I don't know, maybe I should go back next week. Well, you know what Mrs Payton said? The longer you leave it, the tougher it'll be. Martin's right. And he's going to run you to school. We don't want you being tired before your lessons start, do we? No. Nope. And if you feel poorly or funny, you just ring me and I'll come and get you. Yeah, if anyone gives you any grief, just go to Mrs Bonnich. That's what she's there for. Right. Have you got your bag? And your lunch? Yeah. Then you're ready. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> this is because of you, this is. I'm really sorry. Why couldn't you keep your big gob shut? I'm sorry, it was an accident. What? Honest, I was only trying to stick up for you. Kirsty and all that, they were saying how fat and blobby you'd got. And I just said you weren't fat. And then it kind of just slipped out. I'm really sorry. I didn't... No, don't even touch me candies, just don't come near me.
Sarah Lou, why are you doing PE? <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Perhaps you don't understand the question. I've heard having a baby shrinks your brain. Oh, <laughs> Christine, just shut up. You are? I'm telling you, back off, all right? Oh, isn't that sweet? What, are you the babysitter? No, I'm a best friend and I'm warning you. Leave her alone, all right? Listen, Stow. You stick up for that slag. It's all over. None of us will speak to you ever again. Suits me fine. He didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. She's just a stupid cow that can't keep a trap shut. Thanks. Do you want to go to the chipper? Thought you had PE. It's only netball. I'm sky of it. I don't like netball anyway. Grateful. Here goes. Um, can I sit here? I gather we both go to the same maternity clinic. And not only that, but we're due about the same time, so I thought you might understand what I'm feeling. What you're feeling? Scared. Not all the time, but sometimes when I think about it, yeah, I am. I suppose I am, but only sometimes. Well, perhaps we could stick together, you know, cheer one another up. They might even let us have appointments at the same time. Which, shall I see if they will? Because I know it'd help me if I had somebody to talk to. You've got a husband. Well... Mum, if you're nearly finished, I want to go home. Shouldn't let your dad see you playing with that. It's for work. Emma Jones has got one like this. Well, easy to use. Even you could work it. Oh, thanks a bunch. Uh, thank you. I was playing with that. Yeah, well, it's not a play thing. Yes, yeah, so why did they put games on it then? <sighs> How do I get rid of this now? I just press the button, the C button. Hmm. I've got the address book now. Yeah, we'll just, I'll just give it to you. No, I'll do it, OK. Right, I've done it. Now, just leave this alone, will you? This is for the hospital, OK. Can I have one? No! No! Oh, why not? Everyone at school's got them. Yeah, well, just think. It'll make you special if you haven't got one. Oh, what about when the baby's due? I need one then. Oh, yeah, cos the uh, human race was on the verge of extinction before the invention of mobile phones. Yeah, so forget it. We can't afford it. I thought you'd want me to have one. Yeah, well, we'll think about that when the time gets closer, eh? Hey, I wonder if there's anything in here about that body they dug up in Victoria Street. Martin, I've not had my breakfast yet. I'm not doing my own work. It's Friday night. Hey, Phil's party's tomorrow. Are you gonna go? No. Have you even asked? No, there's no point. I know what they're going to say. Well, you don't know until you try. They don't even want me going out, never mind to parties. Well, you're already pregnant. What else can happen? I don't know if I want to go anyway. Mum and brother was going to get us some cider. Cider? Yeah. You don't even like cider? Yeah, I do. I like it with barbecued flavour crisp. Ah! What's up? I don't know. I'm getting your mum. What is it? What's all the panic about? She said it hurts. Are you all right? It felt funny. Funny how? I don't know, like something moved. Here? Like a little kick? The baby kicked. <laughs> That's a relief. I thought she was going to have it in here then. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's perfectly normal. I mean, I've felt flutters before, but I have never felt anything like that. Mm, it's been cooped up in there for months. It's stretching its legs. Saying hello. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I felt it. Can I have a go? Look here. Oh, just my luck. It'll probably be having a kip now. <laughs> did you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was well creepy. Doesn't it feel weird, though? Not now I know what it is. It's not creepy. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> I can hear gurgling. It's probably that pot. You know, if you keep your ear there much longer, you're gonna get a right kick. Ronan, give all the kick in your mum. Get lost. Anyway, what if it's a girl? Brittany then, isn't it? Brittany Platt. Yeah, I suppose. Scary Platt. 
Pat Platt. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, I bet you they won't let me down. No. Hey, my dad reckons this eyeshadow makes me look like a budget. Do you think I've got too much on? Have you worked? Ain't you notice? I'd look like a kid if my dad had anything to do with it. Hey, don't forget to call around tomorrow morning before drama. Oh, well, but you better be ready, cos I'm not going to wait for you. I want to see what they've cast me as. I'll be up. Anyway, there's no big rush for me to get around there, is there? Don't be so miserable. You'll get some up. I mean, that's why we're doing Grease, cos there's millions of parts. All right, thanks. The only way I'm going to get a part is if we do a nativity play. Good morning, ladies. You're out and about early this morning. Yep. There's a drama group at school and the casting for Grease, and then there's going to be some rehearsals. And are you both planning to be in it? Yeah, of course. Mrs Bonwich says I should stay involved. Well, she's right. There's no reason why you shouldn't, if it's something you like. I bet you were into all that Bobby Sacks gear, weren't you, Rita? Uh, just that, please. Thank you. Uh, fortunately, I missed all that. I want to be a pink lady, so... I thought that were a drink. Oh, no, it's a gang in Greece. Um, Candice's mad set on being Rizzo, aren't you? She's a right slapper. See you, Rita. <laughs> Is she like a slapper? <laughs> oh. She's a slapper. Oh. Why is it I beg my pupils to attend during the week and on Saturdays I can't keep them away? I am miss. So, what are you doing here? Believe it or not, Candice, part of being headmistress means I have to camp out here all night. Honestly? Almost. Do you mind if I have a quick word with Sarah Louise? No. I'll, I'll meet you in a minute, yeah? Okay. I've spoken to the drama department. You will still be needed, you know, so long as you want to be. I'm not expecting a part. No, but there's an awful lot of work once doing backstage. You don't get the glamour, but the show can't go on without you. Thanks, miss. I mean, I don't mind whatever they want. Nobody's doing it as a favour, Sarah Louise. It's because they want you involved in something you're good at. All right? Right. Good. Go on, then. You can help organise the scripts. Miss? Mm. I'd still rather be in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well done. Hey, what? Hiya. What do you want? I just thought I'd say hiya. Yeah, well, you've said it now, haven't you? Sorry, you know, about what happened. You are? I mean, are you alright, like? It's not an illness, you know. Did your mum and dad go spare? Oh, what do you think? Look, it's none of your business, so just leave me alone. Is it because of what we... Will you just shut up, Neil? Look, I'm the one that's stuck with it. What do you care? What are you doing here, creep? Shut it, you. What's it got to do with you? Sarah Louise, I'm gone. Oh, just go and practice your lyrics. You can still have a laugh. Doing what? Grease, the stage manager, can't she? Yeah, of course you can. I know. I'm not bothered. Oh? So why the long face? Look, none of the kids are even going to bother. You'll be run off your feet. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much running. Well, it's organisation, isn't it? You'll be in charge of props and costumes. I mean, no one can go on stage unless you say so. Yeah, you'll hold the whole thing together. Yeah, cos I'm the most important person there. Come on. Do you want to go to the shop? Yeah, right. OK, see, see you later. Ya. See you, love. What if the paper looks like Neil Fern? I'll give it to him. <laughs> Shut him up. A lot of kids do look like the fathers, don't they? Yeah. Well, they will do. I mean, we did it in biology. Right, I'm going home. I'll see ya. Okay. Should we not listen to some CDs before your mum gets back? Uh, no, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I had a visitor today, Neil Fern's dad. What did he want? To do the right thing. Oh, you don't mean Neil's been gobbing off to his dad, um, do you? I don't think it was quite like that. So what does this mean, then? More people with questions. I am sick to death of having to explain myself. You don't have to talk to anybody you don't want to. Yeah, but Mum, it's nothing to do with anyone else. It's my baby. I know. Can you imagine it? 
being stuck with Neil Ferns for the rest of my life. Can you imagine Neil Ferns' mum and dad sticking their oar in when the baby's born? Oh, no way, I've got enough interfering relatives of my own. Well, I think I managed to persuade Mr Ferns that it might be better if Neil didn't get involved at all. Is that all right? Yeah. Somebody's left a car for you. Let's see. What is it? It's a Mother's Day card. For you? Who's it from? Doesn't say. What a nasty trick. Be that Kirsten. Is it her handwriting? Well, this is going in the bin, where it belongs. Just don't let it upset you, all right? I'm not. Nobody with a shred of decency would do a thing like that. It's cruel and it's vicious. I bet her mum doesn't know. Just ignore it, I would. Look, I'm not upset, OK? I'm uh, sorry if I make things worse this morning. Going on at you like I did. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not going to let that cow get to me, that's for sure. <laughs> Good for you. Mother's Days are usually nice. You'll be glad of it this time next year, oh, I tell you. Don't say that. Oh, you wait. Looking after a baby's a full-time job, and it doesn't stop there. You never really get shot of your kids until they leave home. You think I'm joking, don't you? No. It's not going to be that bad for me, is it? Oh? What's different about you? Well, you'll be doing most of it, won't you? Me? Yeah, bringing it up and that. What gives you that idea? Well, I'm only 13. I won't know what to do. Then you'll have to learn. Did you really think I'd be doing it all for you? I think you and me better have a little chat. So you thought I'd be bringing it up while you carried on as normal? Well, not completely. But somewhat like that. Well, I've still got to go to school, remember? I've still got to go to work. Well, can't you give up work? And where's our money coming from? Well, Martin works. Do you really think I'd be going out to work if his wage was enough? We have this standard of living because we both got jobs. Yeah, but Martin's just got promoted. Yes, and it's just as well with a baby on the way. Have you any idea how much they cost? Yeah, well, the government, they help, don't they? You mean child benefit? Well, that doesn't go very far. You've seen Gary Mallet struggling to make ends meet, and there are thousands like him. Well, I don't We're the lucky ones. I don't want to give up school. You won't have to. But I can't go to school and look after the baby. <sighs> oh, well, we'll sort some it out. Yeah, but well, if you're still working. Well, I'll have to have some more time off, won't I? I think we should start thinking about that, how it's going to work. Because you're going to be tired, aren't you? Looking after a baby and doing your own work. I thought this was the hard bit. I thought that... Um, once... Your problems really start. There's no two ways about it, Sarah Lou. This is the biggest upheaval you've ever had in your life. I'll do all I can to help, but... You'll have to take the brunt. Life's never going to be the same again. And you might as well get used to the idea. Here you go, Curly. Thank you. Is that your own work you're doing? Yeah, it's English. It's got to be in this morning. Well, why don't you do it over the weekend? Well, I don't see why I'm bothering to do it at all. It's not as though I'm going to be sitting in the exams, is it? Yes, you are. I told you we'd work something out. Well, how? I can't be bringing up a baby and go to school. We're a family. We'll all do our bit. And there are nurseries. Yeah, I'm sure. Anyway, I've got to go. Yeah. Good day at school? Yeah, it was all right. Was it Kirsten who sent that car? Well, she never said out. Anyway, I won't give her the satisfaction of asking. Come on, Sarah. Let's have a little talk here. Mm, what about this time? I've told you. Whatever's ahead, you're not going to have to give up on school. I know it's not going to be easy when the baby arrives, but 
We'll manage, somehow. Mum, I'm sorry, I just can't see it. I mean, I can't take a baby to school. No, I suppose not. But there are other girls in your situation, and like Mrs Payton said, there are special units for girls who are still at school who have babies. You can look after your baby and carry on with your classes. But Mum, I don't want to go to a special unit. I'm not a freak. No, I know you're not. And I don't want you to go anywhere that makes you feel like one. But I think we should look, Sarah. I don't want you to give up on your future. It's the baby's future as well, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Mum, I'm scared. Whatever I do, it's not about me anymore. No. And being pregnant is scary. Especially the first time. No matter how old you are. Are you scared? Yes. But excited as well. And a couple of months ago when I thought I might be pregnant again. Really? I was more terrified than ever. Yeah, but you weren't still at school when you were pregnant with me, were you? No. But you'll have some that I wouldn't have had. You have a mom who loves you to take care of you. You got a good father, a brother, and a grandma. We're all here for you, Sarah Lou. All of us. I wish I'd never gone in for this now. I mean, when you see them actors on the telly, you forget that they've got to learn the lines and that. Do you want to go over it again? No, I'm fed up. My brain's gone on strike. I think I'd rather be stage manager like you. Stage manager? Why, like Sarah Lou? What for? Grace. Grace! Oh, I love Grace. I only saw it 14 times. Is this for school? Um, yeah, it's a drama club. Well, if you want any help with costumes or anything. Really, that's great, thank you. Well, it sounds dead good, your school. We had to do Macbeth and all them serious ones, you look at things. <laughs> What's up? I mean, it's dead cool that you get someone to help you. Oh, no, it's not that. Mm. What? School, um, my mum wants me to go and see about a special unit, you know, for after the baby's born. Do you reckon it'll be all right? I really don't want to go. I don't know. I mean, will we still be able to be friends in that if I go to a different school? Yeah, of course. Good. Do you want to come round to mine? We'll go over it again. Nah. I think I better be going. I'll see you later. Hey, Sarah Lou. You off shopping? Yeah, I'm gonna go to town and get some, you know, material for costumes. Oh, right. Well, hey, I I've got a couple of hours to spare. I can come with you if you like. Oh, um, I'm all right, thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's just that um, I said I might meet a friend in town. No, that's fine, I understand. But remember, any time you want to pop over, I can help you out. Oh, thanks, that'd be great. I don't know where to start. I know, it could be a bit overwhelming doing something like this, can't it? I felt like that about Millennium costumes. You always seem so organised. That's what it's all about, really. Organisation, planning. It's a lot of hard work, but it's always worth it. Really? Really. It might not feel as important to as glamorous as being in show, but honestly, when that curtain goes up and you see all those costumes you've made yourself, you'll go, I did that. Every stitch, every M, every button, it's a wonderful feeling. How many folk are in this play? Talk about gassed of thousands. <laughs> you'll be an expert seamstress by the time you get through that lot. What, me? Uh, dead right. You don't think I'm doing all this by myself, do you? I'll, um, put the kettle on. It's a good skill to have, you know, in sewing. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Yeah, what for? Letting my waistbands out. Earning yourself a living, for one thing. And I bet you'd love to see that baby dressed in something you've made yourself. Of course you would. I know I would. Yeah, but I want it to look nice, though, don't I? I mean, if I made anything, they'd all be saying, oh, look, she put that poor little baby in a cushion cover. Don't be so daft. It'd be best dressed baby in Weatherfield. You'd have its own designer, Mum. It's only practice once you get started. Would you show me? Well, once we've got this stuff out at road, if you want. Well, as long as we don't have to do pink for a girl, blue for a boy. No, that's old fashioned these days. Any road, come on. We'll get now done sitting here. All right, let's start clearing this table then. Thanks for coming round. You know, that's the first time I've heard her talk about the baby like that. Well, I've got that excited about it. She probably thinks she might as well be in all. <laughs> hey, I'm up for anything, me, you know. Shopping trips, decorating nurseries. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Hi. 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 How are you doing? 
Oh yeah, your Sarah Louise is going into competition with Mr Baldwin. <laughs> you all right, love? Yeah. Is there enough hot water for a bath? I'm shattered. Yeah, I'm sure there is. You had another rough day? Yeah. What other kind is there? I'll put your tea on. Morning. Hiya. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't sound it. Well, um, I'm not feeling too good as it happens. Oh, right. It's probably how it takes you sometimes, is it? Anyway, I've got some great ideas for Candice's costume. I'll meet you in here later, shall I? And we'll go through them. About one. Yeah, whatever. They had flared skirts in them days and tight little blouses like that look. Great for dancing in. You've uh, lost all interest in this, haven't you? Are you still feeling left out at school? You, you don't have to talk about it. It, it just gets worse. What about Candice? I thought she was your friend. Well, she is, but at rehearsal, she just spends all the time with the others. She's doing this stupid stage management. Everyone looks down on you. And you don't think it has anything to do with, you know, being pregnant? Because that'll set you apart from some people. Oh, I would never have noticed. Anyway, what do you know about being pregnant, Hayley? You don't have a clue? Well, no, I wouldn't, would I? But I do know something about being different, about being butter people's jokes. People can be very cruel. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I expect you're getting a lot of that at school, aren't you? And it's that more than not being in play that's bothering you. It's both. People who were friends don't talk to me now, except for if no one else is looking. Then they're not real friends. Well, I can't blame them. May as well go to a special school. And what's that? I was talking of me going to um, a special school, you know, with young mothers and babies. And what do you think about that? I don't know, I just feel like a freak. I know it's not the same, but when I were in Holland, you know, there were two others in for the same thing, and, and just having them around to talk to, not having to explain everything or worrying about folks laughing and that, well, it was great. I almost felt normal. So you think I should go? Well, I couldn't say one way or other, but at least you wouldn't be odd one out anymore. It might help you adjust. Not at school today? No, I went to the hospital for another scan. Was everything OK? Yeah. You can have a look if you like. Can I? Yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, it really is like a little person, isn't it? It is. Oh, it gives me goosebumps just looking at it. <laughs> Scares me to death. I can imagine. Listen, you know you can always talk to me, don't you, if you need to, if you fancy a change from your mum and dad. Yeah, no, I can. It's different talking to you, you're my friend. You still look a bit glum. I'm all right. It's just Candice was supposed to be meeting me in here, but she's not turned up. Can't you go around to her house? No, my mum doesn't really like me going round. Oh. Listen there. I bought this for you over there. What is it? It's just a book about having a baby. I just thought it might help explain things, set your mind at rest. Well, thank you. It... It's just that um, I get loads of stuff like this from the clinic. They give me a new booklet every time I go. Mm. This is supposed to be very straightforward. What, written for kids, is it? <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, thanks. I'll have a look. It's just that... I know. I'd rather be reading a magazine. She hasn't said much. She just sits there reading. Yeah. What's she doing? School work? Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is it? Some woman. Okay. Can I have a necklace cake, Mum? Hello? I've got something to tell you about Jerry. Oh. Yeah, all right. We'll discuss the implications later. When? Yeah, I'm on my way in. Bye. What's your book? Uh, it's about having a baby. Haley gave me it. Had your nose in it a long time. Yeah, well, I like the pictures. You didn't read the book I gave you. Yeah, well, that was rubbish. Anyway, the diagrams are missing more sense. Well, if there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. Yeah, I know we can. Or Martin. Between the pair of us, we're pretty clued up. 
Yeah? You know, it's very nice of Haley to take an interest, but... But what? Well, she can't have children of her own, and I don't want her to... To what? Nothing. Hiya, is Haley back from work yet? No, she isn't. I want to give her this back. You finished it? Yeah. So now you know all there is to know. Well, I'll find out the rest soon enough. You know, if you're worried about anything... Like what? Well, labour, the birth, pain. Well, it's all in here. Well, I'm sure I can tell you better than a book. Oh, here she is. Hayley, thank you so much. It was really good. Oh, the lady in the bookshop said it was the best. All the latest information. Yeah, and it tells you not to listen to scare stories. Oh, no. New mothers have enough to worry about. Oh, I still wish I wasn't having it. Mm, it's always the way. Girls like you don't want babies. Other women would love to have one. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Oh, no, no, you keep it. I bought it for you. Are you sure? It's kind of expensive. do not matter. Are you sure? Of course. Well, thank you. See ya. <laughs> See you later. Very kind of you, Hayley. Back to school next week, Candies. Yeah. Had a nice break? No, not really. I haven't done anything. Oh, well, you'd be glad to get back to school and your mates, then. You miss that, won't you, Sarah? You know she's finished now till after the baby's born. Mum, she knows. I've already told her. Not that she'll be missing out on her studies, because she's going to be doing that at home. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, there's no suppose about it. We'll be here to make sure you keep up with it. I'm going to take as much time off work as I can and Martin's going to fix his shifts the best he can so you won't be left on your own. Right, I'm going into town. Is there anything you want? Yeah, I need body. The one I've got feels awful. Oh, cheer her up, Candice. Cheer her up, Sarah. <laughs> oh, it's driving me mad. Whatever I do, I just can't get comfortable. No, I better be getting off home, I think. Oh, will you just stay a bit longer, please? In a few more minutes. I've got school on Tuesday. It's so boring. On Friday, though, we've got a disco. Oh, all right, for some... At school? Yeah, it was all right. Was it Kirsten who sent that car? Well, she never said out. Anyway, I won't give her the satisfaction of asking. Come on, Sarah. Let's have a little talking. Mm, what about this time? I've told you. Whatever's ahead... You're not going to have to give up on school. I know it's not going to be easy when the baby arrives, but we'll manage somehow. Mum, I'm sorry, I just can't see it. I mean, I can't take a baby to school. No, I suppose not. But there are other girls in your situation, and like Mrs Payton said, there are special units for girls who are still at school who have babies. You can look after your baby and carry on with your classes. Mum, I don't want to go to a special unit. I'm not a freak. No, I know you're not. And I don't want you to go anywhere that makes you feel like one. But I think we should look, Sarah. I don't want you to give up on your future. It's the baby's future as well, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Mum, I'm scared. Whatever I do, it's not about me anymore. No. And being pregnant is scary. Especially the first time, no matter how old you are. Are you scared? Yes. But excited as well. And a couple of months ago, when I thought I might be pregnant again... Really? I was more terrified than ever. Yeah, but you weren't still at school when you were pregnant with me, were you? No. But you'll have some that I wouldn't have had. Even mom who loves you to take care of you. You got a good father, a brother, and a grandma. We're all here for you, Sarah Lou. All of us. I wish I'd never gone in for this now. I mean, when you see them actors on the telly, you forget that they've got to learn the lines and that. Do you want to go over it again? No, I'm fed up. My brain's gone on strike. I think I'd rather be stage manager like you. Stage manager? Why, Sarah Lou? What for? Grace. Grace! Oh, I 
love Greece. I only saw it 14 times. Is this for school? Um, yeah, it's a drama club. Well, if you want any help with costumes or anything. Really, that's great, thank you. Well, it sounds dead good, your school. We had to do Macbeth and all them serious ones, you lucky things. <laughs> What's up? I mean, it's dead cool that you get someone to help you. Oh, no, it's not that. Mm. What? School, um, my mum wants me to go see about a special unit, you know, for after the baby's born. Do you reckon it'll be all right? I really don't want to go. I don't know. I mean, will we still be able to be friends in that if I go to a different school? Yeah, of course. Good. Do you want to come round to mine? We'll go over it again. Nah. I think I better be going. I'll see you later. Hey, Sarah Luke. You off shopping? Yeah, I'm gonna go to town and get some, you know, material for costumes. Oh, right. Well, hey, I I've got a couple of hours to spare. I can come with you if you like. Oh, um, I'm all right, thanks. Okay. Oh, no, it's just that um, I said I might meet a friend in town. No, that's fine, I understand. But remember, any time you want to pop over, I can help you out. Oh, thanks, that'd be great. I don't know where to start. I know. It could be a bit overwhelming doing something like this, can't it? I felt like that about Millennium costumes. You always seem so organised. That's what it's all about, really. Organisation, planning. It's a lot of hard work, but it's always worth it. Really? Really. It might not feel as important to as glamorous as being in show, but honestly, when that curtain goes up and you see all those costumes you've made yourself, you'll go, I did that. Every stitch, every M, every button, it's a wonderful feeling. How many folk are in this play? Talk about gas to thousands. You'll be an expert seamstress by the time you get through that lot. What, me? Uh, dead right. You don't think I'm doing all this by myself, do you? I'll, um, put the kettle on. It's a good skill to have, you know, in sewing. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Yeah, what for? Letting my waistbands out. Earning yourself a living, for one thing. And I bet you'd love to see that baby dressed in something you've made yourself. Of course you would. I know I would. Yeah, but I want it to look nice, though, don't I? I mean, if I made anything, they'd all be saying, oh, look, she put that poor little baby in a cushion cover. Don't be so daft. It'd be best dressed baby in Weatherfield. You'd have its own designer, Mum. It's only practice once you get started. Would you show me? Well, once we've got this stuff out at road, if you want. Well, as long as we don't have to do pink for a girl, blue for a boy. No, that's old fashioned these days. Any road, come on. We'll get now done sitting here. All right, let's start clearing this table then. Thanks for coming round. You know, it's the first time I've heard her talk about the baby like that. Well, I've got that excited about it. She probably thinks she might as well be in all. <laughs> hey, I'm up for anything, me, you know. Shopping trips, decorating nurseries. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hiya. How you doing? Hiya. Your Sarah Louise is going into competition with Mr Baldwin. <laughs> you all right, love? Yeah. Is there enough hot water for a bath? I'm shattered. Yeah, I'm sure there is. You had another rough day? Yeah. What other kind is there? I'll put your tea on. Morning. Hiya. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't sound it. Well, um, I'm not feeling too good as it happens. Oh, right. It's probably how it takes you sometimes, is it? Anyway, I've got some great ideas for Candice's costume. I'll meet you in here later, shall I? And we'll go through them. About one. Yeah, whatever. They had flurge skirts in them days and tight little blouses like that look. Great for dancing in. You've uh, lost all interest in this, haven't you? Are you still feeling left out at school? You, you don't have to talk about it. It, it just gets worse. Well, what about Candice? I thought she was your friend. Well, she is, but at rehearsal, she just spends all the time with the others. She's doing this stupid stage management. Everyone looks down on you. And you don't think it has anything to do with, you know, being pregnant? Because that'll set you apart from some people. Oh, I would never have noticed. Anyway, what do you know about being pregnant, Hayley? You don't have a clue? Well, no, I wouldn't, would I? But I do know something about being different, about being butter people's jokes. People can be very cruel. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I expect you're getting a lot of that at school, aren't you? And it's that more than not being in play that's bothering you. It's both. People who were friends don't talk to me now, except for if no one else is looking. Then they're not real friends. Well, I can't blame them. 
May as well go to a special school. What's that? I was talking me going to um, a special school, you know, with young mothers and babies. And what do you think about that? I don't know, I just feel like a freak. I know it's not the same, but when I were in Holland, you know, there were two others in for the same thing, and, and just having them around to talk to, not having to explain everything or worrying about folks laughing and that, well, it was great. I almost felt normal. So you think I should go? Well, I couldn't say one way or other, but at least you wouldn't be odd one out anymore. It might help you adjust. Not at school today? No, I went to the hospital for another scan. Was everything OK? Yeah. You can have a look if you like. Can I? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh, it really is like a little person, isn't it? It is. It gives me goosebumps just looking at it. <laughs> Scares me to death. I can imagine. Listen, you know you can always talk to me, don't you, if you need to, if you fancy a change from your mum and dad. Yeah, no, I can. It's different talking to you, you're my friend. You still look a bit glum. I'm all right. It's just Candice was supposed to be meeting me in here, but she's not turned up. Can't you go around to her house? No, my mum doesn't really like me going round. Oh. Listen there. I bought this for you over there. What is it? It's just a book about having a baby. I just thought it might help explain things, set your mind at rest. Well, thank you. It... It's just that um, I get loads of stuff like this from the clinic. They give me a new booklet every time I go. Mm. This is supposed to be very straightforward. What, written for kids, is it? <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, thanks. I'll have a look. It's just that... I know. I'd rather be reading a magazine. She hasn't said much. She just sits there reading. Yeah. What's she doing? School work? Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is it? Some woman. Okay. Can I have a necklace cake, Mum? Hello? I've got something to tell you about Jerry. Oh. Yeah, all right. We'll discuss the implications later. When? Yeah, I'm on my way in. Bye. What's your book? Uh, it's about having a baby. Haley gave me it. Had your nose in it a long time. Yeah, well, I like the pictures. You didn't read the book I gave you. Yeah, well, that was rubbish. Anyway, the diagrams are missing more sense. Well, if there's anything you don't understand, you can always ask me. Yeah, I know we can. Or Martin. Between the pair of us, we're pretty clued up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very nice of Haley to take an interest. But... But what? Well, she can't have children of her own. And I don't want it to... To what? Nothing. Hiya, is Hayley back from work yet? No, she isn't. I want to give her this back. You finished it? Yeah. So now you know all there is to know. Well, I'll find out the rest soon enough. You know, if you're worried about anything... Like what? Well, labour, the birth, pain. Well, it's all in here. Well, I'm sure I can tell you better than a book. Oh, here she is. Hayley, thank you so much. It was really good. Oh, well, the lady in the bookshop said it was the best. All the latest information. Yeah, and it tells you not to listen to scare stories. No, new mothers have enough to worry about. Oh, I still wish I wasn't having it. Mm, it's always the way. Girls like you don't want babies. Other women would love to have one. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Oh, no, no, you keep it. I bought it for you. Are you sure? It's kind of expensive. do not matter. Are you sure? Of course. Well, thank you. See ya. <laughs> See you later. Very kind of you, Hayley. Back to school next week, Candice? Yeah. Had a nice break? No, not really. I haven't done anything. Oh, well, you'd be glad to get back to school and your mates, then. You miss that, won't you, Sarah? You know she's finished now till after the baby's born. Mum, she knows. I've already told her. Not that she'll be missing out on her studies, because she's going to be doing that at home. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, there's no suppose about it. We'll be here to make sure you keep up with it. 
I'm going to take as much time off work as I can and Martin's going to fix his shifts the best he can so you won't be left on your own. Right, I'm going into town. Is there anything you want? Yeah, I need body. The one I've got feels awful. Oh, cheer her up, Candice. Cheer up, Sarah. <laughs> driving me mad. Whatever I do, I just can't get comfortable. No, I better be getting off home, I think. Oh, will you just stay a bit longer, please? In a few more minutes. I've got school on Tuesday. It's so boring. On Friday, though, we've got a disco. Oh, all right, for some. Wish I was going. Tea's ready. Oh, where she is. A goddess of laughter and smiles. What's up with you? Nothing. Well, that's a relief. From the look on your face, I'd have thought the world was going to end tomorrow. Mum? Yes, love? Please can I borrow some money to get myself a dress? Dress? What for? Party on Friday. Party? What party? The end of play party. You're due any day. You can't go to a party. What? You can't go out partying when you're due any day. Do you want to end up like Alison? Flat on your back in hospital? You're joking. No. I work really hard on that play, of course I can go. I just need something decent to wear instead of all this baby rubbish. Sarah, you're going to be a mother. Any day now. Oh, you can't go out gallivanting whenever this. you feel like oh, it. Oh, come on, we'll help you where we can, but going off enjoying yourself, it's going to be a different ball game from so now on. So just sit down and eat your tea. No! Just sit down and calm down. Don't get yourself upset. It's not good for you and it's definitely not good for the oh, baby. Oh, the baby. Let's not forget about the baby. It's all about the baby these days, isn't it? What about me? I've got a life, haven't I? Oh, have we forgotten about no, that? of course you haven't. We're just saying that, well, when the baby comes, you'll have that responsibility. No, that's all. I won't. What do you mean? I'm giving it away, that's what I mean. Do you not get much sleep last night? No, not really. It's hard to get comfy, isn't it, the last few weeks? Bump gets in the way. You know, I don't want to make a big fuss about this because I'm sure you regret saying it. But I don't want to hear another word about you giving your baby away. It was a very silly thing to say. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Did you say it because we wouldn't let you go to the party? It's nothing to do with the party. You really thinking of having your baby adopted? Yeah. No, I don't know. You don't know? No. Do you know what you're saying? If you give that baby away, that's it, for good. You can't turn round in a couple of months and say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I, I know want it that. Back, do you? Do you know what it'll mean in the future? If you think adoption's the answer, you talk to your granny. You ask her to tell oh, you about it. Nowhere, well, this is, is it? ridiculous. All the care and support she's getting, and she's talking about giving her baby away to a total stranger. My baby, I can do what I want. No, like you it. can't, because fortunately, it's not up to yes, you. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. And until you've grown up enough to have a reasonable conversation, I don't think we should even discuss it. There we go, love. Thanks, Rita. And I'll keep us in nappies for a bit. So how are you coping? Is it getting any easier now they're bigger? I don't think it's any easier, but it's different. Instead of crying, they're toddling about breaking things now. Mm. Must be hard work. You look tired. Yeah, I'm shattered. Tell you what, it's the hardest work I've ever done anyway. There's no pain, there's no sleep. I should get on to Mother's Union, shouldn't I? Sarah Louise, are you all right? What can I get you? Oh, look, love, don't listen to me. They're worth it in the end, honest. I'll see you later, Rita. Yeah, ta-da, love. Are you all right, love? What is it? What's happened? Now, right, no, come on. Come on, love. You tell me what's wrong. I can't. Was it seeing Gary with the twins? Did it bring it all home to you? Look, would you like me to go and get your mum? No. What's happened? Have you two fallen out? I told her that I wanted to get the baby adopted and now she won't even speak to me. Is that what you want? To give the baby away? 
I don't know what I want. I just, everyone, everyone keeps telling me what to do and what's going to happen. And I, just, I just feel really scared. Oh, you've no need to be scared, love. What if I can't do it? Can't do what? What if I can't get the baby out? What if it, what if it hurts me too much? Uh, now, listen to me, Sarah Lou. Women all over the world are having babies all the time. And some as young as you. And they all cope. They all manage. But I can't manage. I won't even know what to do with it when it, when it comes. Darling, nobody knows the first time. But you'll learn. And you won't be on your own. Everybody will do all they can. You know that. <sighs> My grandchild, she can't give it away to a total stranger. Oh, yes, she can. Because it's her baby. It's not yours. It's not ours. It's Sarah's baby. And it's her decision. Did you hear that, Sarah? Do you understand what your dad's saying? In a few weeks, or even days, you have to make such a big decision. Whether to keep your baby or not, I don't know. Because if you are not sure about adoption, you must not whisper one word of it outside this house. Why? Because if the doctor or social worker catches one whisper of it, they'll have that baby with foster parents before you know it. Oh, come on, Gail, that's not fair now, you is it? You know that's what happens, Martin! <laughs> Listen to me. Now, you don't have to make a decision tonight, but you do have to think about it. But whatever you decide, we'll love you and support you, whatever you want. I don't know what I want. I just want it all to stop. Hey. <laughs> How's your homework? You know, when the baby comes... Well, I don't want to think about it. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. It's due any time now. I'm not going to be able to cope. You won't be on your own. You'll have me and Martin. Yeah, except when you're not there and I'll just freak out. And I'll be scared of doing anything wrong or feeding it wrong or... And then I'll be on my own and I won't have any friends. Of course you will. No, I won't. I won't even have time for him anyway. Mum, the baby would be better off with someone who really wants it. Don't say that. But it's true. I mean, there's loads of ladies that I'd love to have babies and can't. I'd just be making someone really happy. It won't be as grim as all that. Can we keep saying something different? I thought you said it was going to change my life. Well, it will. But it's exciting as well. And I'll be there. Don't forget, I've done it three times. Summer's a lovely time to have a baby. And then, when the new term starts in September, I'll look after the baby. You can go back to school. Will you take it to the cafe? Mm -hmm. I'll pack in the job and look after it full time. And I could. And in the evening, we'll share. So I could go back to normal school with Candice and that? Mm -hmm. If that's what you want. Yeah. Is that what made you want to have the baby adopted? Fear of losing your friends? Well, that's not going to happen. Because me and Martin don't want you to lose your friends either. But if you give your baby away, you might regret it later on. And it would be too late. So, will you think about it? Thanks, Mum. Uh, where's my keys? They were here. In the drawer. Right, receptacle. It's Mrs. Gregory's house. Ah. Mrs. Gregory? Yeah, um, she's the English teacher. Um, she directed the play. 
And there's other teachers going to be there, Mr Haig, the deputy head, Mrs Jones, and Mrs... I thought we'd already discussed this. Yes, we did. So? We said no. Oh, but I feel fine. And Dr Wilson said I was in good health. And the midwives and the health visitors. Look, I'm not going to do anything stupid. No, you're not. Can we talk about this another time? Yeah, but the party's tonight and everyone from the play's going to be there. Please. It might be my last chance to see everyone before the baby's born. Well, if it's all right with you. Please. Can you taxi her? Yeah, I suppose so. Yes. And we want you back at a reasonable hour. Yes, ten o'clock, all right. Eleven. Half ten. And you'll take care of yourself, no wild dancing. Right. And if you feel poorly or anything, just ring and we'll come and pick you up. Oh, Mum, I'm not a kid anymore. You've got a visitor. Hiya. Hiya. Yes, for you. Mm. OK, listen, better go. See ya. I'll see, see ya. you later. I just called round to see what time you want me to come round tonight. Oh, no point coming round tonight. Sarah's going out. Yeah, no, so am I to the party. I thought you said they were going to give us a lift. You did, did you? Well, I hope you realise, Candice, that the only reason we're allowing Sarah Lou to go tonight is because of you. Mm -hmm. Well, we know what a responsible and careful girl you are, and you'll take good care of her. She's winding you up. Yeah, right. I better finish the papers, because if I don't get them back before half past, Norris will talk to me. <laughs> See you later. See ya. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when my mum bought this dress. It's the exact same dress as I would have bought. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's all right. Well, believe it or not, mums were young once, you know. Yeah, well, it was a fluke. She's not going to buy any more of my clothes. Yeah, I wish Darren was going. Yeah, well, he's not. Anyway, he didn't do out for the play. Yeah, I know. Oh, I see. Can't have a good time anymore unless Darren's there. Well, come on. Are you nearly ready? Yeah, in a minute. Oh, come on. If I've got to be back by half ten, at least you can get me there on time. Well, you both look very nice. You're saying that. No, I'm not. You do. Right. Come on, then. And be careful. Woo! I think someone's gone overboard with a perfume bottle. Have you never heard of subtle, you two? <laughs> right. Oh, keys. Come. Satisfied? Yeah, uh, it's all right. Can you go now? Oh, yeah. Love you, too. Right. See you about ten, then. Ten thirty. Enjoy. Hi Sarah Lou, Kirsten. Look, I know I've said this before, but I'm really sorry about that stuff in the locker. It didn't mean nothing. It was stupid. Yeah, it was. So, is everything okay now? We're friends again? Yeah, whatever. See, I told you she was all right. Listen, are you going on that French exchange? I've seen some photos and some of the guys are gorgeous. What do you think? Oh, yeah, right. So, are we going to have a dance or what? Well, can she dance? Yeah, she can dance. Right, I'm going to go and sit down. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Have a nice time? Yeah, it was alright. She's not in the mood for talking. Why did anybody say anything? Because if they did. No, they were fine. So why the face? Well, look at me, I'm a freak. Hey, now, come on, don't talk like that. Yeah, well, it's true. All they wanted to talk about was boys. Well, that's what young girls talk about. Yeah, well, I think it's stupid. I don't like feeling different. I know. But let's face it. You are different. I mean, they're just kids. Well, what am I then? I'm not a kid. I'm not an adult. I'm nothing. I don't fit in anywhere. Might want to go out later. Oh, I doubt it. 
Well, see how you feel. You're not going to another party tonight, then? Mm, fat chance. <laughs> nah, I'm not fond of parties myself. Hi, Candice. It's Sarah. Yeah, come in. Uh, hiya. Hi. You all right? I didn't know you'd gone until someone told us. Yeah, well, you just felt you'd had enough, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, do you want to go upstairs? No, well, you didn't miss much. It was just the boy showing up. <sighs> Seems to have got over it. Mm. That's probably done her good. Showing her that life for her ain't going to be the same as for her mates. Hard lesson to learn. Oh, why? Which? I see. I don't know when, now. Well, you can come round after school. If I can. Oh, what you mean is you might be seeing Darren. I don't know. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Bye, Candies. Bye. Oh. <laughs> All right, just on your way out. Yep. Okay, bye see then. See you later. They're going bowling tonight. Yes, and you'll be able to go bowling again one day. Oh, yeah, if I take my baby with me, yeah, they're all going to love that, aren't they? Oh, Sarah. What's up now? Same as before, she thinks her friends won't want to see her anymore. Yeah, well, if they don't, she just have to find some new mates. Life's like that. Martin, do you have to go to work today? Well, uh, yeah. And yesterday? Uh huh. Just seems like you're there every day now, and I, I thought we were going to say we were going to give Sarah all the support we could. Yeah, I know. Well, I would have thought that involved being here. Can you manage that? Yes, I can some of the time. But be fair, Gail, I have got to work. In fact, it's even more so now I'm the only one bringing a wage in. And why did I think you were going to say that? Well, because it's true. And don't you love having the excuse to be there rather than here? I don't care how poor we are, Martin, or how much they need you at work. I need you here, and so does Sarah. Think about what matters in your life. Look at that shopping list, you're going to need an extra pair We've of hands. We've got lots to get, haven't we? There's nappies and cot blankets and baby clothes. Um, did you bring the address? What address? The address of the people selling the pram. We'll go there before we go to the shops and we don't want to miss it, oh, do we? Right, Why yeah. do I have to have a second-hand pram? Because by the time I pay for this lot, it'll be the only thing I'll be able to afford. Having a baby is an expensive business, sir. I mean, we're going to have to be careful, especially with me giving up my job. Well, Candice's mum says it's bad luck to buy stuff before the baby's born. Well, Candice's mam should think before she opens her mouth. It's nothing but superstitious twaddle. You're gonna be fine. Oh, and the baby's gonna be fine. Yeah, and I'm gonna be broke, so up in that car before she has anything else to that list. There's only so much my wallet can take. <laughs> you get much bigger, we're gonna have to get you out with a crane. Warm. Oh, <laughs> only joking. Go lie down and we'll bring all the things in. Yeah, and don't you worry about this. Bit of oil, bit of a clean, ready for a Grand Prix. Thanks for all this. It's exciting, isn't it? Makes you think something's really happening. You will come and get me, won't you, if anything happens? I'm only in the Rovers. Mum. Oh, yes, well, better to be safe than sorry. You can go into labour any day now. I'm fine. Will you stop fussing? Yes, all right. I'll leave you to it. But remember, I'm uh, just across the road. Oh. It's understandable that she's anxious. She's driving me mad. She won't leave me alone. Um, I know you've probably already got one of these, but uh, I'll, I'll knit this for you. I hope you like it. Oh, it is really beautiful. It's for uh, wrapping baby up in when you come home from hospital. Did it in yellow because I thought that were best. Because uh, you don't know whether you're having a boy or a girl. Or... Oh, Sarah, what is it? What's the matter? Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, but what is it? Is it the shawl? No, the shawl's really pretty. Well, what's the matter then? I don't know. It's just everyone buying stuff for the baby and. <laughs> Pack my bag for the hospital today, and it's just uh, it's all getting a bit close. You've seen how nervous and excited my mum is. I just, I just don't think that I'm ready. But you've been to them classes, though, haven't you? At the hospital? Yeah, they're really good. 
they're really great and everything but there's just so much to take in and, uh, and there's like we had this whole lesson on which way around to put the baby and then if you do it wrong the baby could die and then there's all this stuff to remember like feeding and sterilizing and that and then i'm just scared of getting it wrong oh, listen sarah all that stuff you can learn or all the practical stuff like like feeding and keeping baby clean you can ask your mum at hospital and everyone will help you you won't be on your own um, well, I don't know much about these things, but I know what I feel. What? The most important thing is, is that you love your baby. If you love that baby, Sarah, everything else will fall into place. I could have died. Do you know what he did, right? He put out his hand and goes, how do you do? How embarrassing is that, right? So, me and Darren was just looking at each other like this. Well, what did he do? Well, he had to shake his hand. Oh, yeah. And then he goes, so what kind of bands do you like? Oh, you are joking. No. So I went, Uncle Rob. He went, what? I went, shut up. And did he? Well, did he? He started going on about his favourite band. Well, why didn't you just take him up to your room? I'm not allowed to take boys up to my room anymore. Why? Well, since, you know. Oh, since I got pregnant, Charlie. <laughs> well, I said to my mum, just because Sarah lose it, it don't mean I am. Well, you know what I mean, don't you? So. You mean you haven't even done it yet? You haven't, have you? Yeah, well. Oh, I see. So you go on like you miss mature and know it all. And yet I'm the one stuck with this thing. Whoa, look at this. What is it? Hey, mind that. Hayley knitted it for me. I thought it was really nice of her. Oh, look! It's got little arms and little legs. It's a baby girl. Yeah, it's just right for babies. Yeah, I suppose. So what else have you got? Look in there. I've got um, nappies, changing mat, bathing robe, talcum powder. Great. Hey, your mum and dad must have spent a bomb. There's all sorts in there. Yeah, I know, but it's just mostly practical stuff. But, I've got it this. Oh, that's so cute. I know. Hey, you know what? If it's a girl, you could get all your old dolls and you could play together. Do you reckon you're going to be more like mates? Well, how do you mean? Well, like, there's not much age gap, is there? Oh, maybe. So you're going to be strict or you're going to be cool? Oh, I don't know. So you're going to let her go out and clubbing all night and then come in whatever time she wants? Um, well, it might be a boy. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have to go and stand on a football pitch and scream and shout? Yeah, I guess if I have to. Yeah, but I wouldn't take any lip if I was you. No. You're going to check out all the mates and girlfriends? Yeah, I'll probably have to say, hey, what's your favourite band? <sighs> yeah, and get our own back. Yeah, put them through exactly what we had to be put through. Yeah, why should they get away with it? Exactly. Hey, um, would you fancy being at Santa? Yeah, cool, and I can say, right, you go and wash your hands before your dinner. <laughs> yeah, and if it gives you any asshole, I can say, hey, you, listen to your auntie Candies. Cool. Do you know what? This could turn out to be a right laugh. <laughs>